What's up, guys? Matt here, MixingMasterMyStar.com. Today, I want to show you five of the uh, macros I use the most with SoundFlow. If you guys haven't seen my video from before, a few months back, I talked about uh, this new program that works with Pro Tools or any DAW, really, and can just speed up your workflow and do a lot of things that you have, might have to do a bunch of steps to get done with one click. And it is giving me hours of my life back every week. And it's been really been one of the most game-changing pieces of software I've used in a long time. Um, so it's something I, I like to share a lot. So let's check out five of the ones I use the most. Let's go. All right, guys. So the first one I use, let me actually pull up um, SoundFlow here. Um, because I, it's hard for me to shoot another camera with my stream deck and this is my stream deck And I also have it on my iPad over here, but this right here is exactly what my stream deck looks like So uh, the first one I'll show you is this a B one and metric a B is a plugin that um, I use a lot because you always got to be listening to the rough mix when you're mixing a song these days if, if you're not like close to the rough or at least respecting the rough you're gonna take a huge L so metric a B I can just type just hit on my screen deck and it comes up. And up in my master fader, I have it going out to that. So I can be down here, pull it up, and then hit match. And, and if you know this pl plugin, what it'll do is it'll match the level of my mix to the rough mix. So I can make sure that just the, it doesn't sound louder, it's better. It's just the mix is actually better. Um, and it's great because I can be down here, work on these cellos here, and pull up AB, match it really quick. Or if I'm comparing it to another song, I can load them all here. And so I can be really quick on getting to that. Now, this, this macro works really well for anything. I have all my reverbs and um, effects for my master bus on here. I can just bring them all up no matter where I am in the session. And so it just makes, you know, gives you hours back right there, not having to scroll up to my master or whatever it is I'm looking for. I can pull up the stuff I use on every mix really fast reverbs whatever it is so um, along with the metric a b that works for anything and if you guys want to see the script is really easy for it um let's see a b let's see if i can pull this up quick enough okay open close a b so you just go to a new uh, add action and you're going to look for open insert on track and then you name the track you want it to do and then the insert number and if you want it to enable disable or toggle i want to toggle because i want to be able to turn it on and off so that's a super easy, easy one to, to make uh, that you can do in about 10 seconds uh, for all your you know, different plugins that you use on every mix. Uh, so that's the first one. <clears throat> the next one is on my setup page. Let me go back to my stream deck so you guys can see this. Um, this I have a menu here called setup. So this is either exporting or starting a session. It's how I get uh, to load things quick enough um, you can see I have bass drums music and vocals all colored here so these are the colors I like to use for each one of my mixes um, that way I know what the tracks are so if we go here really easily I can go to my setup page and see these are Vox so I'll just select all three hit the green the, the Vox button and it selects it just like that then these are strings organs pianos acoustic guitars Gonna select all those, music, hit the button, those are color coded. Bass is blue, so that's easy, hit the bass, and then these look like drums, all drums, yellow. And just like that, I don't have to go over here and fart around with this, it's like the whole session is color coded in, what was it, 20 seconds? So that's huge. Um, another one that I'm a big fan of is this, and let me pull up my screen flow, uh, go back, and then, so I have an audio suite folder too. And so these are all the audio suites I use quite a bit. And so um, this is guide and dub. So you can see that's that's vocal line. So I know these two things aren't vocals, but just for demonstration purposes, let's pull this up. And if I go to audio suites and I click guide, it will pull up vocal line on the other screen, unfortunately. Pull up vocal line and load that guide in, right? And then I can hit the other cello, hit dub, and it pulls it in and uh, length, there's the length issue of course because of this, it's okay. And creates a new track and gives me a warning and then processes it. Obviously there's an issue because these are really different things. But 
it would it would do all the processing and everything for you really quick and you know vocal on something that sometimes if you have a big r and b song with 70 tracks that's going to take some time so moving things quickly with that is huge um and the same thing goes for that is uh with the rx7 um, a lot of times uh, i need to declick things or the math declick or deplosive uh, there's always kinds of issues with you know especially vocals recorded at home so if it's just like this line i can go select this line really quick while i'm editing oh there's a click in here hit math d click it pulls it up processes it and closes it and it's done so just totally game changing how fast that can work um the next one that i use a lot is copy paste and so let's say we have this vocal. I know these aren't vocals. Oh, this is acoustic guitar. So let's say we have this acoustic guitar and I put a bunch of plugins on it and it sounds really good. And I just want the second acoustic guitar to have the same plugins and then I can tweak it if needed, but I just want them to be the same, right? So normally you'd have to drag all four, which is just such a pain in Pro Tools. Here I have uh, copy data and paste data. So what that does is I can have all four of these, hit copy data, and it does all that, but da, 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 da. hit OK, click on my next track, hit Paste Data. And just like that, it copies and pastes all the plugins. And you could do that if you wanted, like, if you had 10 vocals that all you needed all the same plugins on, you could hit Paste and it would do it to all 10 of these or whatever this amount is. So that's totally insane and totally huge. And, and I wish Pro Tools would just kind of implement that, but it is what it is. Um, so that saves, you know, days of my life. Um, the last one that I want to go to, and, and, and mind you, all these you guys can get for uh, free in the SoundFlow um, store down here. I mean, I think the vocal line one's in here. You can look through these, but um, the copy and paste one is, I think, right around, well, just scroll through it. You'll find them. Um, I think this is the one for the copy and paste, or, or, is, it, or is it this one? This one here. Uh you'll find them in here. And, and so that's why I wanted to show you these ones because these aren't ones that I had someone program or program myself. My buddy Nacho helps me with a lot of this stuff. Those get kind of crazy, the real in-depth ones. But these are all the real simple ones you can get going on day one with this stuff. Um, and the last one, just to show you one final one, is called, uh, let me get back to my scripts. Pro Tools. Uh, this one is in my setup. And it's called PT Prefs. So there's another one uh, in the store that you can save your preferences the way you like them. And then hit one button and it will bring them all back. So I don't know if you guys get a lot of sessions from the other clients or other studios. And they run their Pro Tools rig completely differently. They don't you know, have their inserts set the same way. I can hit this PT Pref. This pulls this little manager up. And I hit Recall. And right like that, it goes through the whole session and makes Pro Tools act the way I like it to act. And you can see things kind of changed and these updated and stuff. And so now it's to the way I use Pro Tools every day. So, I mean, you know, how many times have you worked on a session where you're clicking around? Oh, wait, I'm, this is the way I usually do it. And it's just such a pain. One button, you're all set. So there's five or maybe even six different macros I use uh, with SoundFlow that really, you know, make my life easier. And that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. You guys can really deep dive into this stuff and get on the forums and learn how to program stuff. Really kind of fun and, um, and interesting. So let me know what you guys think. What are you using for your macros and SoundFlow? If you got anything really dope, send it over so I can use it. Uh, if you need any songs, Mix and Master, hit me up at MixandMasterMySong.com. You can also get my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.